Previously on Dance Academy. Your upper body looks like a stick. There's no groove in it. That's because I'm a ballet dancer. Carbs after three. I'd rather eat a deep fried vending machine. Tara doesn't want a room with you, so I just sign the form. Has it ever occurred to you that the reason I won't change rooms is because you want me to? I never have to pick up after you again. I'll get violent. Is that a promise? Ethan! I made you a mix CD. It's just a few dance tracks. Um, some contemporary... She items. isn't. No, she is. You're working late. Hey. Hi. This is sort of light. You're you're working. Hey. Hey! Saw the light. <laughs> you're working late. Just trying some ideas. Also, I saw there's this contemporary group coming from Alice Springs performing Wednesday night. I thought it might give you some inspiration. I don't know if that's the best idea, you and me going out. Oh, it wouldn't have to be a, a date or anything. <laughs> Look, it's not like I don't think you're a great kid, but I mean, you're Kat's best friend. You're like my other little sister. Okay. When I was three, I took a vow of silence until my parents let me start ballet. I was the youngest kid ever to attend the Patch Walling Ballet School. The youngest winner in the regional of Stedford. I used to like being the youngest. But these days, it just feels like another liability. Especially in this place where we all know each other's weaknesses. We keep tabs on everything. Who has the best arms, the best feet, the best technique. Which means our bodies are on display 24-7. There's no such thing as privacy. Whoa! Dude, get out! Oh. Sorry. Sorry, Christian. Sorry, mate. Uh, and no small flaw ever goes unnoticed. Will you stop doing that? Stop doing what? I call this one the thinker. It's just a pimple. Wear it with pride. Hey, ah. Hi. Oh, what happened there? Oh, gosh. Did you think that one up all by yourself? Yeah. Mm. Um, Tara, about that other thing that you've got on your, um... <laughs> hey. He's only two years older than me. Where does he get off, treating me like a little kid? Uh, maybe because you lose the capacity to speak in complete sentences around him. Oh, um, so... Ethan, do you, would you, uh, I, I love you. Sorry, oh, oh! It's true though. Katrina, your hair is a mess. Tara, posture, tail in, shoulders back.
Abigail, you're out of uniform. I'm still a little cold. Were you here for warm-up? Of course. Then take that thing off. I need to be able to correct your body. Unless, of course, you think I have nothing to teach you. No, of course not, Miss Rain. Um, it's just I think I might be coming down with something. I feel a bit shivery. Miss Armstrong, you are either ready to work or at the doctor. Which is it? Back to the beginning, please. Tender. Okay, slip the crossover off and I'll check your lungs. Is that necessary? It's more of a head cold. <coughs> yeah, I need to check that your lungs are clear. Well, can't you do it on top? It's freezing in here. <sighs> no. Okay, big breath. That sports bra's very tight. Maybe you should go up the side. Maybe I didn't come here for fashion advice. And again. Not that it's any of your business, but I'm the same size I've always been. Well, your lungs are clear. But I still have a head cold, right? I mean, I don't want to make it worse. <coughs> Abigail, you do know that for your height and weight, you're in perfect proportion, don't you? It's normal to be developing. I'm not developing. I'm certainly not most girls. A super so chasse pas de bourre. Another single tour. Double tour on the last one. Great. And pirouette to finish. And finish. Hold it. Better. That's it for today, everyone. <coughs> Yeah. What's this? Wait. What are you wearing? Something funny? Wait, I don't here. touch you. Hey. Is this a ballet school or a boxing ring? Right, Sean, you can explain to Mr. Kennedy why you think wedgies are so hilarious. The rest of you, out of here now. Not so fast, Christian. Lieberman, where's your dance belt? Yeah. I don't believe in them, sir. Don't be ridiculous. It's a uniform. Every male dancer wears support. I swear, I really don't own one. Well, I don't know how you managed to get away with that one, but your little rebellion is officially over. I'm giving you a note to miss study period. You're going on a shopping trip. On oh, Christian, you're his wingman. What? What's this got to do with me? Consider it character building. Ah, uh, you're Tara Webster, right? Yeah, but you're in the company. You, you're Damien Lay. Uh, yeah, Damo. Hi. <laughs> Look, I've been trying to track you down ever since we got back from the tour. Really? Yeah, my mum, Shirley Lay. And she knows your mum from the Country Women's Association. Of course, Miss Shirley. She adjudicates the estate, but she's terrifying. <laughs> in, in a good way. No, no, no. Now you know why I had to uh, talk to you when she asked me to. My mum is going to flip when I tell her I met you. <laughs> we saw you dance at the Easter show once, and... And when you got into the company, there was like a parade in your honour. You're a legend. Well, yeah, I'm the local. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure. I'll uh, have to listen to my mother more often. That was Damien Lay. Yeah. Damo. <laughs> Is it annoying or does it just come naturally? I didn't see you there. It's not mine, I don't eat chocolate. Are you sure? Because... Are you sure? Because... What are you, five? Just leave me alone. You need a hand? Yeah. Oh, there's one in every year. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I just had this skill at making a fool of myself. Look, you can't worry about what people here think of you, all right? We're from Mali country. We're supposed to be tough, remember? Right, real tough. Yeah. Yeah, hand it over. <laughs> hey. 
admit it, Christian, dance belts are hot and uncomfortable. They stink. They look stupid. I mean, and they're unhygienic, so. That's why you wash them. You wash them. Have you ever seen me do my own washing, Christian? No, I take it home to Mum. I can't ask her to go there. You know, what is happening to us is a form of oppression. I don't like it. Do you reckon if I jumped, I'd make it to shore alive? It's not going to be bad for your health. Like a dance belt. But seriously, I've done the research. Do you know what overheating does to a man's sperm count? OK, no. No, seriously, no. listen. What about when I want to have children, Christian? If I wanted a wedge, you just ask Sean, right? We're here, you're getting one, okay? I'm not getting one. You are. Hi. You guys need some help? No, nope, we're just browsing at the moment. No, he needs a dance belt. What size do you want? I don't actually want one. I don't believe in their validity or necessity. I think you'll find they're actually not that bad once you get used to them. What size do you think you are? Um, what's your biggest? <laughs> what? They're based on gene sizes, so... Oh, OK. Uh, 31. OK. Why don't you give... this one a try? Yeah, sure. Yes. Get up that one. away from the pimple. It's going to pop all by itself when I tell you what I just heard. Wow. Artistic. OK, so two of the most stuck-up girls in second year just bombarded me with questions about how you're dating Damien Lang. Damo? No way. Yes way. The entire school is obsessing about it. What did you tell them? That I was not at liberty to discuss your personal life? I think they took that as a definite yes. Our mothers know each other. But if people want to talk, who am I to take that away from them? It's not like I started the rumour. And anyway, I could totally date a company member, don't you think? Oh, so proud right now. So do you reckon Ethan's heard about us? You know, Damo and me? Less proud. The doctor said I'm well enough to dance, but as a medical precaution, I should keep my crossover on, just in case I'm coming down with the flu. I'm intrigued to see the note. She didn't put that bit in writing, but she asked me to tell you. The note? I don't know what's got into you, Abigail. All that's written here is that you present with symptoms not inconsistent with a slight cold. I suppose you can sit the class out. But she said I'm OK to death. Then you will abide by my uniform code. Ladies who are prepared to dance. Come on. Remember your epaule more? Artistry and sustain to the end. Thank you. Tara, come to the front so I can demonstrate something to the class. Girls, let me draw your attention to the hideous amount of makeup Tara has decided to inflict on herself. I'd like to remind you that while makeup is allowed, it should be kept tasteful. Miss Rain, I'm sorry to disagree with you, but I believe that I am old enough now to decide what I put on my face, and even though you may not like it, I do. Thank you for that opinion, Tara, but this is my class, and that means no excessive makeup. And proper attire at all times. Thank you. Is everything OK in there? Um, Christian. Is he there? Christian. Can you come here a sec? Christian. <sighs> what can possibly be so hard? I mean, if you want me to demonstrate, I'm no, not nothing, going to. Nothing, it's fine. It's surprisingly comfortable. Then why are you taking so long? Uh, I've been giving you two some time. She's been checking you out. You don't think she's cute? Excuse me. 
Hi. Hi, um... Hayley. Hayley. Hayley, can you come here a sec, please? Uh, I take back everything I said about dance belts. Told you. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take five. Okay. Uh, can I also try some shores over the top of them? Yeah, sure thing. Yeah, great, thanks. Oh, also, my power Christian's gonna help you pick out some. Christian, I gave her to you on a silver platter and you died in it. Oh, did I now? All right. Mm. Oh, what's that? No, I don't believe it. <laughs> All right. Hi, it's Hayley. Pretty soon there's going to be a little beep. Be brave. Leave a yep. message. Hayley, it's, wait, 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 it's Christian. Wait. Being brave. <laughs> Give me the phone. Call me. Give me the phone. Or whatever. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that was the worst impression of me ever. Right, it's uh, too articulate. <laughs> Yara, I'm Scar one down. We're gonna be late for breakfast. Get out! Whoa, Banshee. <laughs> you have no right to budge into people's rooms like that. Happily leaving you to a little psychodrama. Cut. Come on. I've known you since we were five and you have never walked out of class. I'm the last person who would understand. Right, well then, for the sake of the exercise, pretend I'm someone else. You want to know what's wrong? Tell me what you see. A really boring leotard. Like you haven't noticed. Honestly, you look exactly the same. What about these? That's what you're stressing about. Abigail, they don't look any different. Anyway, I have these. I have bigger these, thankfully. But I'm going to be a principal dancer and principals don't. They just don't. They're ethereal. They're like... Who? Tara. They don't all have flat chests. Take... Take my mum, for example. Natasha is a genetic freak. She's one in a million. Abby, you have spent years stepping over everyone to get this far. Are you really gonna let a little bit of this stop you? You all want me to fail. <laughs> this must be the funniest thing that's happened in you. Right, firstly, no matter what you do, Abigail, you are never going to be funny. And secondly, a crossover? You don't need it. Hey! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Hey, Tara. Tara. Is it true Damien Lane's gonna be doing Spartacus next year? Oh, I'm not really allowed to say, but personally, I think it would be a great career move for Damo. Yeah, yeah. Cool. We need to talk, Christian, about privacy. If we're gonna share a room, we need to get either a lock or some sort of color coded Shut schedule. up. Okay? Come here. Give me a hand. Make a fist. I wanna fight you, Christian. Uh, just a minute. Come in, Christian. Brilliant. Yes. The room has reached the third years. Yeah, I know. I was just speaking to Ethan. Don't get any ideas. Okay. Everyone find their partners. Except you, Tara. Mr. Kennedy wants to see you. I get a move on. All right, is everyone ready? Come in. Tara, I need to ask you some questions. Damien, give us the room, please. I think there's been a... Oh, no, he we doesn't have to We need to leave. talk privately. A staff member has come to me with a disturbing rumor. 
one that every student in the school seems to be discussing. But it's not his fault, it's mine. The reason we have a policy about students dating company members is to protect them no, both. No, 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 it's all made up. Not by me exactly, but see, our mothers know each other and some, some girls saw us talking and this rumor just took on a life of its own and I probably could have, I definitely could have said something, but I guess I just, I just thought. You thought what? I never meant it to get this far, or for anyone to get in trouble. A story like this could ruin Damien's career and do yours a lot of damage as well. I'm extremely disappointed in you, Tara. Damien! I can't talk to you anymore, all right? Just stay away Wait, from me. Wait! Please! Stop! Please! I explained everything to them. All right, well, explain it to me. It's stupid. There's this guy, and he's in third year, and I thought... I thought that if he knew that someone older liked me, that he, he might see me differently. So I just watched my career almost get wiped out because of some stupid schoolgirl crush. Sorry. You know, when we first talked, I thought how great it was that there was this kid at the academy that was real. I was proud to come from the same place as you. You shouldn't be in such a hurry to grow up. image of myself where I'm like 25 and I'm walking towards a theatre in Paris. I still look like me, but I know exactly who I am. My inside finally matches my outside. The only problem is that's jumping to the end of the story. Hey. You cause in trouble again? Some. <laughs> you know, you look better without makeup. Enough, Tara. You are so done. And you know what? <coughs> if I went straight to that theatre in Paris, I'd miss out on all this other stuff I never could have predicted. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and you'll never miss an upload. Or just click on another video. If you've seen them all, then watch them again. Why not?